It's a list of today's departures to the orbiting stations. Most of these are bound for the Morning Star, an MTI-owned station in geostationary orbit above the city. Rapture revisited. They're relaunching the original Amethyn drug. Oh, sorry. Stimulant. Twice as effective at half the cost. Time to usher in a whole new generation of drug addicts. Good morning, ma'am. How are you today? Aside from the fact that the fate of two worlds rests on my shoulders? Uh, yes? Just peachy, thanks. That's good. How may I help you today, ma'am? I'd like to register as a colonist. Very good, ma'am. You won't regret this decision, I can assure you of that. I'm sure I will. In fact, I already do. Uh, yes, well, we'll do our best to find the perfect colony for your tenure, after you fill out a simple multiple-choice form and... Why not just call it slavery? I mean, that's what it is, isn't it? Oh, no, ma'am, certainly not. Our colonists are given the best of care and a full salary to go with their assigned tenure. Whatever, I just need to get on a ship that'll take me through to the Morning Star Transfer Station. We do have a ship leaving this evening with colonists bound for Bukamba 8, and that does stop at the Morning Star. But I'd suggest you go through our pamphlets. Sign me up for, what was it, Bukamba 8? That's where I want to go. Uh, all right, ma'am. If you would just hand me your Newport ID card and place your right thumb on that black square, we can get you registered. There. That's it, ma'am. You're registered. Now, if you just take your baggage... No baggage. Nothing, ma'am? Well, you will receive everything you need when you get to the colonies, so... No problem. Just head up to gate number one and wait in our lounge. And I have to remind you that if you choose not to board your ship this evening, you will have committed a corporate offense and you will be subject to imprisonment. And a nice day to you, too. Very snazzy outfit. Orange goes so well with my hair. Everybody looks tired and lost. If you got more than one suitcase with you, this is where you have to dump it. The bastards probably raid the contents and sell it to the stores after clearing the hall. station guard keeping the colonists out of restricted areas. In other words, making sure we don't get out of this hall. It's the ladies' room. Restaurants, doors, casinos, bars, all designed to squeeze those last precious few dollars out of the colonists' pockets. Well, at least they won't be needing money where they're going. It's locked! There are 300 women here, and the ladies' room is locked? Good God! That's the men's room. A realm of great mystery and foul odors. This is one journey I prefer not to embark on. Deep breath. Try not to breathe.
instant heat for that special moment when manly vigor is required. Fast. Ha! Their secret revealed! To purchase instant heat, the number one source of manly vigor, please insert a cash or credit chip now. Thank you for purchasing Instant Heat, the number one source of manly vigor. Please be advised that excessive use of Instant Heat, the number one source of manly vigor, can cause involuntary spasms and discharge. I shudder to think what's been done in this. It's a garbage can. I feel like I'm spending my entire life pushing trash from one place to another. Weirdest thing, that. Hey, looky, it's a hole in the wall, cleverly concealed. You gotta hand it to them. They know security. It's a grill covering what looks like a narrow passage. Screwed tight. Curse the day I traded away my screwdriver. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. Looks like it leads into a larger ventilation or service duct of sorts. What's going on? Who's there? Hey, hold on, stop right there! Ugh, no! Is one enough? Ah, what the hell? I'll use all of them, just in case. It's not as if I'm gonna be needing them myself. What the heck are you doing in here? This is a restricted area. You're going back to the pen with the other colonists, Missy. doesn't taste right. I feel... Mary, mother of God. I really feel... God damn. Madam Joy's pleasure suites on the promenade had better be open. This constitutes an emergency. It's a bank of security monitors connected to cameras around the station.
Roger that, Central. Taking a break. Out. Holding on your command, sir. Over. Everything is clear, Central. Over. Everything is clear, Central. Over. Negative on that command, Central. Somebody's already taking a break. Over. It's a bank of secure. It's a bank of security. Somebody's playing solitaire. Hmm. I think this is a registry of all the prisoners on the station. Let's see. Yeah. Cell block registry. Cell number one, Agusty Bryan. Cell two, Ruth Pawani. Cell three, Morgan Anger. Cell four, Hammer Hansen. Cell five. Reference G. Holloway. G. Holloway? Gordon? That's gotta be it. The Guardian's in cell number five. It's an official looking coat. There's something in one of the pockets. It's a short and thin cylinder. A magnetic key, I believe. That might come in handy. Hello. You are a hard man to find. You? You speak Navin. Are you from Arcadia? No, but I have had a lot of practice. I I'm a shifter, like yourself. And as it turns out, the next Guardian, although I'm currently in denial. April. April Ryan. Adrian, have you come to free me? Or to question me more? I'm with the good guys. Well, I'm all that's left of the good guys. The balance. It is collapsing. I did not want to leave my... the Guardian's realm. But I... I had to. Nobody's blaming you. But if we don't get moving soon, we won't have time to save the world. Worlds! Can you believe I'm still not getting my head around that concept? What do we do? You just keep close to me. And let me worry about that, okay? I've had some practice in subterfuge lately. I will do as you say. It's Adrian, the Guardian. <laughs>